Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, it's Ryan back here. Um, we're gonna do a uh, our first fishing vlog, so it's gonna be fishing vlog number one. Um, so uh, I'm not gonna actually go outside and fish um, at rivers or anything right now in this uh, first video. Um, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna talk about some of the gear I have, show you some of the lures and stuff, uh, and stuff like that. So. Um, Let's go ahead and get started, and uh, I have three fishing rods, is, uh, is what consists of my rods, and then I have all this tackle gear over here. It's not a lot, I don't have a lot of gear, and that's okay, you don't need a lot of gear to start out fishing. Um, so, we're going to talk about my very first rod. I think this thing was like $30, it came in a kit. Um, I got a few... Uh, fishing lures and stuff, bobbers, uh, I mean, yeah, bobbers, uh, and stuff like that. Uh, it's the Zero uh, 202, which is, it's an awesome fishing rod. It works great. Um, I haven't had any problems with it at all. Uh, I've caught, I caught a, uh, I think it was a three and a half pound um, catfish, channel cat on this thing. Uh, that's a good size fish, and it came up just fine with this thing. Um, had nothing wrong with it. Um, the I said zero. I meant Zebco. I'm sorry, Zebco two o two. Um, I don't know why I said zero. Uh, but anyway, so well, that's the first rod. Um, my first tackle box was this tackle box. Uh, Flame View Outdoor, I guess is how you pronounce that. It's the Classic Series, three trays. Uh, we'll go ahead and got this for Christmas um, uh, one year um, for my great grandparents. Great tackle box. Um, they put band aids and stuff in here for me and fit, uh, fishing line. I got 10 pound fishing line. I've already used most of it, so there's not very much left of it. Uh, I think it's monofilament. Uh, mm, floral. Floral wire. Uh, I got some fire starter. Uh, so if I go camping and I bring this along, I can start a fire and stuff. Uh, weighted hook. Band-aids. Uh, bobber. Um... That, uh, then the second tray, I have, I'll call these like little bitty jellyfish. I got red ones and I got blue ones, blue and white. I got red and yellow and blue and white. I don't know their exact name. So, yeah, I've got some little bitty swimmy rubber baits, swimming rubber baits. Uh, they're action baits, work great uh, from what I've used. I have a nice... Um, Nice uh, swim bait. This one has a copper kind of look to it. Um, great natural colors. Very shiny. Um, very great bait. Uh, don't think I've used it very often, but yeah, it's a very good bait. Very nice colors. I got another bobber down in here. Um, I got a bunch of grubs. Bunch of grubs if you want to get a picture of all my grubs and stuff. I got a bunch of grubs in here and I think that's all I got a bigger grub back here it's a nice size grub this thing's not really full I got a bunch of weights down in here a bunch of hooks and different things down in here uh, it's kind of where I put all, uh, all the stuff that when I cut my lines and stuff it's kind of where I just put everything uh, when I do that but that's my first tackle box very first tackle box I've ever had I moved a lot of stuff out of here and into my one of my other tackle boxes, one of my nice, uh, one of the tackle boxes that I love, and that's going to be the last one I share with y'all. Uh, but yeah, that's the first one. Next one is like this bag-like tackle box. Now there's not very much in here. I don't. This is for fly fishing and stuff like that, or like if you're fishing off a river and stuff, and you don't want to carry that down to it, and you can have this on your person. Um, very great. Uh, there's just. Don't think there's anything in this first pocket. Yeah, nothing. Nothing in the first pocket. Uh, second pocket, probably not anything. Oh, we got a hook and a bobber and a few little 
more of those uh, little grub fishing, fish swim baits. Um, third pocket. Um, third pocket, we have a lot of stuff. We have the anchor for your uh, fish to um, the sticks in the ground. You feed this through um, like that, and then you have your fish on there. It's basically how it works. Um, so, I mean, oh my gosh, I got it tangled. Okay, anyway, it's just a little basic one um, for bank fishing. Uh, I got some uh, salmon eggs from Nightcrawler. Um, they're for fly fishing. Uh, Pearson is disgusted. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> um, I got some weights down in here. Some more bobbers. I think I already said that, but that's okay. Um, I got a little bitty chain thing right here. It's pretty cool. I got these little bitty pockets, and these things are great for putting, uh, nail clippers in for cutting lines and stuff. So I have those in here. Um, but yeah. Uh, I got one on this side. There's nothing in this one. I know for sure. So we won't even open that. Uh, this that, this pocket right here. Nothing inside of there. I don't think there's anything inside of this one either. Yeah, nothing. Uh, this bigger one, maybe stuff. I don't know. There's one thing. And it is this descaler with a measuring uh, stick. So yeah. It's very pathetic of me. Alright, uh, anyway. So that's my um, third uh, bag. It's not really a tiger box, more like a bag. Uh, you can get the brand uh, Plano uh, Tackle System. Uh, great brand. Um, that's where my next uh, tackle boxes are from. Uh, anyway, we'll put that down there. Um, we'll get out the next stuff. We'll go with the one, this one first. All right, so. Anyway, alright, so we have the next tackle box. Alright, this one is great. I love these tackle boxes. They're great. They're also Plano, they're the 370 series uh, stowaway. They have 3 to 28 adjustable compartments, which is awesome. They, I have the uh, little bitty pieces, the dividers, these dividers right here. Right here, I have a bunch of these, and you can set it up in whatever way you want. Let's see if I can get this back in without pinching everything in the bottom of it. All right, anyway. So I got some grub, some swim, uh, like fish, mock fish, rubber fish. Uh, I've got a topwater rebel uh, popper. This thing's awesome. I've caught a few fish off of that. I have this rattle bait, which I've never caught a fish off of this, which I'm hoping that eventually I will. Uh, but this thing uh, is supposed to make the fish angry and stuff like that. I've never caught anything off of it, but... Uh, maybe we'll make a video off of it and see if I can catch something. Uh, never caught a fish. I've always got them stuck on the roots and stuff and never gotten them back. And I've, that's the third one I've bought. Uh, i got some more grubs. More grubs. I've got some needle nose pliers. These things are great uh, for getting uh, hooks out of fish that have really sharp teeth that you don't want to stick your hand down in. And a fish that where the hooks down in and it's a very small mouth and you can't get your hand down in there um and it's also got some uh clippers for cutting line and stuff great great pair of clippers um bought them at walmart so yeah got some gloves for fish that are have some teeth so that i don't necessarily get hurt huh oh it's husky I got a weight, uh, uh, not weight, I got a scale, scale, you want to stand out in front of me, like, that would be better, instead of me having to turn to you, yeah, you out there is much better than you sitting on the couch, I promise, even though the couch is really comfortable, it helps me if you're out there, I'm on video, yeah, I know I'm on video, but they need to hear this, so, but anyway, okay, so, I have a scale. Uh, it goes up to 50 pounds. It's a uh, terminant choice. Uh, terminant. 
Never mind. I'm not going to even attempt. Y'all can just see the thing right there. Okay? It's also got a tape measure, which I did not know until now, which is cool. Um, I did not even know there was a measuring tape on this thing. So, uh, yeah, but that's the first tackle box. All right? So, second tackle box. Open this thing up. This is all my actual tackle. Uh, well, that's technically actual tackle, too. Uh, but I got some weights, uh, hooks and weights and stuff in here. Some more weights. A bunch of weights. Got tons of them. Uh, I got a bunch of hooks. Um, just regular eagle claws, eagle claw weedless, uh, eagle claw rotating worm hooks. Um, yeah, different sizes. Um, I have, let's see. Oh, I have this little contraption here that I made. It's out of a, get out of there. It's out of a uh, wired uh, clothes hanger. Yes. Uh, basically, this was for hot rock fishing. It didn't really work, which I'm hoping I can maybe get it to work if I bend this. Nah, I don't know. Uh, but it's supposed to, you, basically, you stick the, it through the hot dog, you put the, hook the string on, you pull it straight through, and then um, you hook it onto your uh, line. Um, and then you're able to sink a hot dog all the way down the bottom and catch a catfish. Basically, what's supposed to happen is not what did happen. I could never get the line to go all the way through. So I just ripped pieces of hot dog off and sunk them down to the bottom of the lake uh, with a hook. Um, I've got a spinnerbait, basic spinnerbait um, with a worm on it. Uh, rooster tail, this is my favorite rooster tail. It's the only one I have left. All the other ones are gone. Uh, fish broke the line and took the rooster tail with them. Um, but this is my favorite one. I've caught 10 or 15 fish off of this rooster tail. Great rooster tail. Um, I have some more swim baits. Uh, this one has a great, this is great for really murky water. Um, it's got this nice bright yellow with the silver and red. It's got a nice contrast. Um, that's a great one. You've also got this one. This one's great for clear water. Clearer water, not as murky. Um, uh, but it's got this nice black uh, to silver, shiny contrast. Uh, it's great. Um, I've got these spinning baits. I got this white one. Never, uh, haven't really used them. Used them a few times. Um, but they've got these nice spoons. It's got a painted spoon, regular silver spoon, uh, red with um white contrast with a skirt um sharp hook this one's my favorite one it's a little bit bigger it's got this nice brass spoon with a silver spoon to give more of a shiny contrast under the water um it's got this nice uh different colored skirt as y'all can see um it's got white and blue with yellow and a little bit of orange, which is nice. I have my worms. The only brand I use is Zoom right now. Uh, I got some centipede worms on a Carolina rig. I've got a Carolina rig. I got one with the Texas drop, uh, drop shot rig. And then a regular Texas rig. Uh, and the watermelon seed uh, centipede. Worms. Watermelon seed is the color, or and then uh, centipede is the type of worm. Uh, you okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, next worm is a, a smoking purple finesse worm. So smoking purple is the color, finesse is the type of worm. So I've got it also on a Carolina rig. They're also salt flavored. Um, regular uh, Texas rig. There, there's the words. There's the words. All right. And then I also have weedless uh, setup. Texas rig. So um, those are my worms that I have. And that will be consist of all the tackle that I have. Um, what? Nothing? Okay. Um, so those are, that's what's in the 
tackle boxes that I have. These are my favorite tackle boxes. They're great. They're very cheap. They're like 20 bucks. Um, but yeah, great. They carry a ton of gear. Uh, next up is rod floats. These things are great. Uh, they keep your wads, uh, rods from sinking uh, into deep water, and then you have to go dive in and grab them. I've done that before. It sucks. So um, these things will save you a lot of time. They, your rod, they go on your rods right here, and then basically whenever it goes in the water, it's going to sink like this. It's just going to sit on the top of the water like this. That's all it's going to do. Uh, and it keeps your thing from floating way down in the water. Um, but yeah, that's that's that. Um, next, we'll talk about my two last rods that I have. I have this spin, uh, spinning rod. Uh, this thing's great. It's the whatever brand that is. I never can read it. I never. Um, but yeah, that right there. And then it's the type of rod is the Navigator. This thing's great. This thing was like 40 bucks um, at Dick's Sporting Goods. Uh, hasn't failed me yet. It's got a 5.5 to 1 ratio. Um, great spinning rod. Love the colors and stuff. Nice and shiny. Um, caught a few fish off of it. Haven't used it much. I've caught more fish off of the red one more than anything. Um, but yeah, I love this rod. Uh, easy to use, easy to learn off of. Um, yeah, great rod, recommend it. Um, next rod is my newer rod. I haven't used it very much, so I can't necessarily recommend it. Uh, but it's my first bait caster. Um, so, uh, but it's, uh, by uh, the American Hero, um, uh, Lou's. Is the brand uh, American Hero is the type of speed spoil and speed uh, stick. Um, it's a I am uh, endurance six. Um, so, but yeah, it's a great bait caster from what I've used. Um, it's got a uh, let's see five bearing speed uh, system five bearing system. Um, Great tensioning, um, awesome rod. Um, so that consists of gear. Um, let me know if y'all want to see me after the go fish and stuff, or if y'all want me to do more reviews and stuff. I can do reviews on different uh, fishing gear and stuff like that that y'all want to see. Um, let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, I need y'all to support my channel by liking and subscribing and hitting that little bell. And, uh, but yeah, just tell me in the comments what y'all want to see more of. If y'all want to see more fishing videos, if y'all want to see me go fishing, let me know. Uh, I'll see y'all guys next time. Peace out.